So I wanted to talk about this concept that I've only just heard of in the last few days. My husband had heard of it, so I don't know how long it's been around for, but I'd never heard of it, which honestly doesn't say much because, you know, <laughs> but um, it's, it was called quiet quitting. And this lady was talking about it and she was explaining it like, um, when you just kind of gradually stop doing something without really the intention of stopping doing it, but then you just find yourself you know weeks or days or months or whatever down the track and realize oh I stopped doing that so her example was that she used to make fresh juices every morning and then one day she was kind of just like oh I can't be bothered cleaning the juicer so she didn't then the next day she couldn't be bothered then the next time she did the grocery shopping she didn't buy the things that she would normally juice and so without really meaning to she kind of stopped this habit that she'd been trying really hard to form oh my word I just relate to that so much. I feel like that is definitely how I stop doing so many of the habits that I try really hard to set up for myself. It's often just this little kind of barely noticeable decision that just leads into another decision and another decision. And then by the time I notice I've stopped this habit weeks ago or days ago, you know, whatever. Um, and it has been so good for me to be able to realize that and kind of put a name to it and really think about it more in a deeper sort of way. And so I was thinking about that a lot this morning. So yesterday I had kind of a big day, not in terms of like activity, but just emotionally. I had one thing going on that was really exciting. Um, that was required quite a bit of mental effort but that was a really positive thing and then I had a couple of things that were pretty challenging and also required mental effort in terms of just managing the negative side of things um so last night I felt really inclined to have cake and like cake and cake and cake and cake and more cake and I kind of started to notice these voices in my head like I'm kind of over this whole losing weight thing. I'm kind of done with this goal. Like, I just kind of want to eat this cake and not have to try so hard. And so I did have a piece of cake and it didn't make me feel better. Um, and I didn't continue on down the track of just having more and more and more. But it did kind of get me thinking, like, this is the beginning of the end. I've just finished week three. I'm kind of getting these voices like... I don't want to do this anymore but actually I do want to do this it's just that it's hard and it requires mental effort and when there are other things going on in my life that require mental effort that like I really need to focus on like I needed to put in the work for this positive thing and I needed to manage this negative thing the things that I'm just kind of choosing to do they're the first to go. I feel like when things are challenging emotionally, particularly if they're related to, I feel like I said particularly really weirdly then, but particularly if they're related to like old emotional wounds that are maybe like not quite healed and require a lot of self-reflection, you just kind of, well, I just kind of want some comfort from that and some relief from that. And if food has been a comfort and a source of distraction and relief over the years, it's only natural that I'll feel inclined to indulge in that. If something is really challenging emotionally and you need a shift, then it's probably pretty natural for me to want to, want to revert to old ways of dealing with it. So all that to say, I feel like last night the way that my mind shifted a little bit in terms of like I don't really want to do this anymore this is too hard to take on right now I feel like that is that first step of that quiet quitting and I mistakenly took the need for a break and for relief from the mental pressure as I don't want this goal anymore because it's not the same thing I do want to lose the weight I do want to reach the goal I do want to create really good habits for myself but I just need a way of dealing with these other things that are requiring requiring mental effort because whether it's positive or negative 
it's still mental effort and um, so what I'm thinking of this morning is ways that I can keep it clear in my mind and kind of separate the issues and, and find so them. before I was able to really come to that realization um, I just sort of this morning replayed some of the things I was telling myself last night like it's too hard I don't want to do this anymore it's too much for right now and I was kind of going through step by step just trying to think really logically about it like do I no longer want to reach my goal I'm like well, no I do <laughs> and are these habits that you're trying to form detrimental like no they're not they're really good habits um are you feeling better in yourself in your overall health yes i am um is the food side of it too hard to manage is it too complicated is it too boring is it too restrictive no i'm enjoying all of the food logically there's no reason for me to want to give up this goal so that really helped me to think okay i think this is really about something else anyway that's everything i was going to share this morning i need to go and have some breakfast get a bit ready for my appointment have a cup of tea and yeah i hope your day is off to a really good start and i'll speak to you soon bye